Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you are today watching this video. We're with Amy who is one of our present students at the moment but will soon be graduating and she was also uh, an undergraduate at the university. So Amy, our first question to you was what was your deciding factor in doing the MSc? I think it was the, the science aspect of this MSc because I've always enjoyed art and photography but I, I like the fact that this course you could add to each photo your own knowledge and I could apply um, what I learned in my undergrad. So bringing your undergraduate forward into the, into the MSc yeah. helped with, uh, with what you're doing? I think so because I, I already had sort of a knowledge of some of the natural world. Mm. And an arts kind of background or interest, which then combined with the, the science for doing the course then? Yeah, so when I looked at doing my undergrad, I was torn as to whether I would do pure arts or environmental science. And I think it was just the, the fact that the art was a little bit... There wasn't too much structure mm -hmm. or kind of... Academic's the wrong word, but I liked. I was drawn more to the science because I could learn lots. Yeah. Like, um, and so yeah, I think it was bringing those two together. I think it was when I had a, a photo in mind. And I would go out and try and take it. And I'd perhaps spend like a whole afternoon or a whole evening mm. attempting to take it. And it just didn't work. I'd get back and the lighting was wrong or something was wrong. And I'd have to go out and do it again, maybe even three times. And I'd it's sort of doing that research, learning how to get those photos that I found challenging. But it was very satisfying when it worked in the end. So each time... It didn't go right. You then took it further and learned from that and improved. And so you were challenging yourself then. Yeah, there was one instant where I tried to do some astrophotography, and I left it out there for about I think it was two hours, and the lens steamed up after <laughs> half an hour, which was very frustrating. And then I learned that I had to put hand warmers on it so that that didn't happen. So there was a learning curve and you achieved then. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so, to be honest. I thought that if there were aspects that weren't like in the curriculum or whatever, um, we could just ask you guys and you would be accommodating. Like, for instance, I wanted to do the UV photography and we bought um, some UV lights and stuff. So, yeah, I think you can tailor the course to an extent as to what you want to do. With yeah, we, we tried to make it as flexible mm. as we possibly could as we, we went along because I suppose, obviously, if you, if you have such a rigid um, stance to it, then you, it's not going to suit everybody. Yeah, definitely. And I thought that... I felt it was very flexible. I could do the type of photography mm. that I wanted to do. I would love to see my work either published in a book, so I could maybe publish a book, or the dream would be to have some of it in um, a magazine. I'd really love that. So I'd probably adjust my summer project book yeah. and try and publish that yeah. with, with some edits once yeah. I've got feedback. And yeah, so once you get the feedback and yeah. then you look at it as being a draft version of maybe a final uh, product, so, yeah, so you can take it forward from there. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I think that 
I enjoyed the fact that I learned so much in quite a short space of time. So before doing this MSc, I hadn't used a DSLR at all. Um, and quite quickly, I found it really satisfying learning how to use the different lenses and the different settings and what I could do with the DSLR. Um, and in the end, I, I produced products that I, I didn't see myself producing in the mm. beginning and that I'm proud of. And I also have now got on to the Canon Student Development Programme, um, yeah, which I didn't see happening at all yeah. in the beginning because I've just been using a DSLR for a year. So the, the student, um, the Canon Student Programme, what does that actually then entail for you to do? So I've shown them a couple of my articles from the magazine and a professional photographer looks at them and reviews them and gives advice on um, how I could perhaps get them in a magazine. Mm. And then um, some people review it. Either some of them are professional photographers, some of them work for magazine companies. And then it goes into a, f a photography festival that's online. So yeah, so it's just good being able to take uh, advice not only from within the course, but externally to the course. And I suppose if COVID hasn't been about, we would have had a lot more external speakers in that you could have spoken to. But we had a, a few online, didn't we? So Yeah, we had quite a lot, actually. I thought that, that it was quite useful talking, especially talking to people of different generations mm. and of di who photographed lots of different aspects. Yeah, different genres of yeah. photography, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So that, that helped as well, yeah. So when you first started in September of last year and thinking you're going to be finishing this August, did you think that was going to be a long time then? I don't know. I think it's gone by really quickly, yeah. actually. Like, yeah, definitely. I can't believe it is the end already. No. <laughs> It's never the end, it's just the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Because we never go away, we're On always here. Day. We're always here for you to come back to, isn't it? I think I'm going to try and continue doing some of the UV photography, which is what I did um, during this course, and develop that a bit more. Um, and then hopefully I can sort of build up even more of a portfolio, make make a website, and um, perhaps apply for competitions mm -hmm. and um, magazines. I've also I've got a couple contacts, so I might try and do some networking, get myself out there. Get your name out of our yeah. Start, <laughs> start pushing yourself. Yeah. Repay your debt. Exactly. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> But it's a worthwhile debt, though, yeah. at the end of the day, yeah? Definitely. OK. Well, thank you very much, Amy, and I hope that you've enjoyed your time with the University of Nottingham, both as the undergraduate and as a, a master student, and it's been a pleasure to teach you. I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> that would be the obvious choice, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he said thank you at the end of the other one so you can cut that in instead. <laughs>